As we mark the first representative legislature at Jamestown, our nation also reflects upon an anniversary from that same summer four centuries ago. In August 1619, the first enslaved Africans in the English colonies arrived in Virginia. It was the beginning of a barbaric trade in human lives. Today, in honor, we remember every sacred soul who suffered the horrors of slavery and the anguish of bondage. More than 150 years later, at America's founding, our Declaration of Independence recognized the immortal truth that all men are created equal. Yet it would ultimately take a civil war, 85 years after that document was signed, to abolish the evil of slavery. It would take more than another century for our nation, in the words of Reverend Martin Luther King, Jr., to live out the true meaning of its creed and extend the blessings of freedom to all Americans. In the face of grave oppression and grave injustice, African Americans have built, strengthened, inspired, uplifted, protected, defended, and sustained our nation from its very earliest days. Last year, I was privileged to sign the law establishing a commission to commemorate the arrival of the first Africans to the English colonies and the 400 years of African-American history that have followed. That was an incredible day. That was an incredible event. Today, we are grateful to be joined by that Commission's Chairman, Dr. Joseph Green. Thank you, Dr. Green, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Green. In the decades that followed that first Legislative Assembly. The democratic tradition established here laid deep roots all across Virginia. It spread up and down the Atlantic coast. One fact was quickly established for all time. In America, we are not ruled from afar. Americans govern ourselves. And so help us, God, we always will. Right here in Virginia, your predecessors Thank you very much.